Hello viewers, welcome to Textile Cell. In this video, we will design a simple remote control circuit using CD4017 IC. With the help of this circuit, you can easily switch on and switch off light, fan, other electrical equipment just by using a TV remote. As you can see, I am controlling this light just by pressing the TV remote button. And during this video, I will share circuit diagram and all the required details so that you can easily make this project in your home. This video is sponsored by JLC PCB, which is one of the largest PCB manufacturer in the world. You just have to pay only $2 for 10 set of PCB of dimension 10 by 10 cm. So you will get a good quality PCB in affordable price. For more details, please visit jlcpcb.com, the link given in the description. Now first I will place the CD4017 component on this breadboard. Now you can see I have placed the CD4017 IC on the breadboard. This is the notch of the IC. Looking at this notch, this is the pin 1 and this is the pin 16. So thus we can easily identify the pin configuration of the IC looking at this notch. Now here you can see I have connected the pin 16 with the positive rail of the breadboard with the help of this red connecting wire and I have connected the pin 8 with the negative rail of the breadboard. Now I have also connected the pin 13 with the negative rail of the breadboard as you can see on the screen. Now as you can see on the circuit diagram I have to connect pin 4 with pin 15. So in the breadboard you can see I have connected pin 4 with the pin 15 of the IC. Now I will place these two transistors. This is a PNP transistor which is BC557 transistor and this is the NPN transistor which is BC547 transistor. Now on the breadboard I have placed the PNP transistor and the NPN transistor. Now if I place the curve portion in this side then this will be the collector of the PNP transistor. Middle terminal is the base and this terminal is the emitter of the transistor. Now again for this BC547 transistor which is NPN transistor, this is the collector, middle is the base and this terminal is the emitter. Now I have to connect these two transistor with this IC. Here you can see I have connected the collector of the PNP transistor with pin 14 and I have connected the base of the NPN transistor with pin 2 through a 220 ohm register. Here in the schematic you can see this collector is connected to pin 14 it's a PNP transistor and this is the NPN transistor and I have connected the base with the pin 2 through a 220 ohm register here I have connected a 10k register across the emitter of the PNP transistor and the positive rail of the breadboard here you can also see in this schematic the register is connected across the positive rail and the emitter of the PNP transistor now this is the IR detector or receiver the pin configuration is this is the output pin this is the VS pin and this is the ground pin as you can see in the schematic here you can see I have connected the ground pin of this IR detector with a negative rail and I have connected the VS pin with the positive rail and I have connected the output pin with the base of the PNP transistor as you can see in the schematic. Now here I have connected a 100 microfarad capacitor across the negative rail and the base of the PNP transistor. Now the negative rail connected with the negative terminal of the capacitor as you can see and I have connected the positive terminal of the capacitor to base of the PNP transistor as you can see in the schematic. Now here I have connected a 270 kilo ohm register across the positive rail of the breadboard and the pin 14 of the IC as you can see in the schematic. Now here I have connected 0.1 microfarad capacitor across the pin 14 and positive rail of the breadboard as you can see which is also indicated in the schematic. The capacitor and the 270 kilo ohm register are connected in parallel across the pin 14 and the positive rail of the breadboard. Now here I have connected the anode of this LED with the positive rail and I have connected the cathode of the LED with the collector of the NPN transistor through a 220 ohm register as you can see in this schematic. 
here I have connected the emitter of the NPN transistor with the negative rail as you can see in the schematic emitter is connected with the negative rail now here you can see I have connected these two negative rail and these two positive rail with the help of these two connecting wires now our circuit is ready we just have to supply 5 volt across the positive and negative rail to check the circuit now here you can see I have connected the positive 5 volt with the positive rail and I have connected the negative terminal of the DC source with the negative rail here you can use any 5 volt source like mobile charger or any other source so I have connected the supply for testing purpose I am using a TV remote so if I press any button you can see the circuit is on and again if I press it the circuit is off you can use any button the circuit will work again I am pressing it it will turn off now we will connect the relay to control 220 volt supply with the help of this circuit so again I am disconnecting the DC source here I am using this 5 volt relay these two is a coil terminal and these two are the NO contacts so when this coil terminal will get supply then these two normally open contact will closed and current can flow these two terminal so this will act as a switch so let me place this relay on the breadboard now you can see I have connected the coil terminal of the relay in this manner I have connected one terminal of the coil with the positive rail and another terminal of the coil with the collector of the NPN transistor as you can see in this schematic this terminal is connected with the collector of the NPN transistor and this terminal is connected with the positive rail now as I am connecting a relay coil so I have to place a diode in reverse polarity so let me connect this diode in reverse polarity I have to connect the cathode with the positive rail and I have to connect the anode of the diode with the collector of the transistor now here you can see I have connected this diode in reverse polarity I have connected the cathode as you can see this is a band so this is the cathode terminal which is connected to positive rail and the anode terminal is connected to collector of the NPN transistor as you can see this is connected in reverse polarity so now I have to connect any electrical load across the common and the NO terminal of the relay and when this coil will get 5 volt supply this equipment will turn on and when we de-energize the coil then it will turn off so let me connect a lamp across this N1 common contact of the relay now I will connect this 220 volt 9 watt LED lamp so what I have to do you can see among these two wire I have to cut one of the wire and I have to place these two wire across the NO and the common terminal of the relay so thus we can easily connect any 220 volt or 110 volt load across these two terminal so here you can see I have connected these two wire across the NO and the common terminal of the relay and I have used this tape for safety purpose to keep this wire in place as this is a 220 volt supply line so you have to take proper safety precaution for this circuit so I have placed this tape now what I have to do I have to connect this 2 pin plug to main supply now I have to give 5 volt supply across the positive and negative rail here you can see after giving the supply the lamp turn on now to turn off the lamp I have to press any button of this remote you can see again to turn on the lamp I have to press any button so I can easily control this 220 volt circuit using this TV remote control so circuit is very easy if you follow the step you can easily make the circuit but while making it please take proper safety precaution for this 220 volt supply line now as you can see if I press the button the circuit will turn on and if I press the button the again the lamp will turn off 
thus i can easily turn on and turn off this circuit or this lamp from any corner of the room like that you can also connect any other electrical equipment if which you want to control with this tv remote you can design the circuit on the breadboard as a project but for daily use i will not recommend to make the circuit on the breadboard i will prefer to make the circuit on pcb so for that i will make another video in the upcoming days where i will show how to make the circuit on the pcb and i will also share the design layout of the pcb so please do subscribe to get notification for that video and if you like the video please hit the like button and share it with your friends don't forget to subscribe our channel for more such videos thank you for watching have a great day